Hello. Uh, I'd like to introduce a story about deploy a container in cloud for in seconds. Uh, I'm Xu from Hyper.sh. Uh, first, I will introduce what we do. Uh, actually, we do a <coughs> true public container cloud. Uh, what mean true? When, when, I, when I say true public container cloud, it's the first word is about public. Uh, if the cloud is public, it will be multi-tenant. That means uh, different users will launch containers in the cloud. And when I say it's a container cloud, that means the container is the first class scheduling unit. Uh, they don't live in any VMs. And you can launch the container directly and schedule them. You can use them and uh, uh, stop or start and add policy to containers uh, without, some, without, you, without need to create a pool, a VM pool to run it. Yeah, uh, this is our <coughs> cloud. Let me introduce how it's easy. It's just as simple as uh, run Docker on your laptop. Uh, just ju you can just you can just on your Mac or your Linux, even even on the Raspberry Pi, you can run Hyperpool to pull some images. Uh, yeah, I saw there's a uh, Nginx guy. Yes. You can pull index, which is very popular. And after pull it, you can just hyper run to run, run it uh, in, in seconds. And uh, and <coughs> um, even, and we, can, we can provide even more. Uh, we have a floating IP, just as Neutron has, uh, just to use uh, FIP list to list the, your, the floating IP you have, and add the floating IP to a container. Then you can, you can access the container. That's second. It's how we can do this? Very, very simple, because we have a technology called hyper container. In, uh, in, the, uh, in most of the container Container cloud, you know, you need to run containers in VM because uh, your your a, your app run in the in the app in the operating system, and the container in, inside the uh, run on top of a host kernel, and all the different containers run on the single kernel, and uh, all of all of you know the single kernel cannot be tr be trusted as fully isolated. So you need to isolate it with VM. This is the user A's, uh, the first user's VM, and this is another user's VM. You run, the, you run different, different, uh, different, different user's container in different VM, then you can think it's secure. Uh, but this makes the things very, very complicated. And in hyper container, we use hyper hypervisor to isolate the different different containers, and all the containers run in different different uh, hypervisor zones. And the, there is a thin kernel uh, under, under under it, and it provides the standard standard Linux APIs to to run to run the apps inside inside the inside the VMs, and uh, then uh, because it's it's very, very thin and it's lightweight than the traditional VMs. Uh, we can we can make it uh, secure as VM and uh, fast as containers. Uh, <coughs> for the hyper hyper container, uh, in a single single server, we can we can launch a launch a container in about 100 to to 300 milliseconds. I mean, uh, it's it's more close to a Container than to to close to a VM. Uh, and and for in our cloud, we can we we integrate the hyper containers uh, with some OpenStack OpenStack components uh, such as Neutron for the layer two network and uh, Cinder for the and Cinder for the uh, for the data volumes. Uh, then you can use the 
uh, you can use the uh, can use the hyper hyper contain, hyper containers uh, in the cloud and launch, launch them in cloud for for seconds. Yeah. And uh, let me do some uh, do some do a demo for you. Yeah. Um, here, uh, I will I will launch a, a, a bit complex model. We have about uh, we have about six six containers to organize uh, organize uh, organize them as a telecommunication telecom application. Uh, this is this is a this is a a sort of containers made it and uh, IMS subsystem. This is for the uh, make a phone call or use the some something like VOIP or something like. We have one, two, three, four, four containers, and uh, now we try to try to launch it. Uh, this is uh, the first component inside inside it. It's about a user uh, a catch of the the user user registry. And uh, uh, this is the second, the second, the second containers. Uh, second container is uh, this is a uh, uh, this is about the the user user's database. And, and now we will have a third, a third, uh, a third container. This is quite similar to, to uh, quite similar to use Docker. Uh, you can also use Hyper PS to show. Uh, all these are your containers run. And. And the so-called Docker link is also work in the in hyper cloud. Uh, now we have we have one, two, three, three links. Uh, the first one linked to the to link, link to the three exist con containers, and and the fourth. The fourth is a. Uh, uh, this is a telecom telecom uh, gateway for the for users to route their their calls. And uh, this is the last one. Yeah. So now we have we have the the, the sixth containers run, and. We can also uh, yeah there is f all the all the six containers and also we have have the um, floating IP for them yeah now we have we have we have two available IPs and we can we can assign an IP for for one. Uh, for one container. Okay. And assign it for 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 this one, at least. Then let's look at it. Look, look at it. Uh,
Wow. Cool. Whenever you have you have a presentation, there will something occur. And just just like you stalker, you can you can use EXEC to to check what's happened in, inside inside a container. Yeah, no, we have we have log in the the container, and to LS to show. And to to see what what's what's running inside the container. Uh, th this is a very complicated container. We can have, uh, there is some, some NG NGX inside it, and uh, there is also a MySQL inside it, uh, something, uh, something else. And we can also, uh, we can also look at which, which part is open. Uh, yeah. The, the the AD part should be open. Uh, let's try to store it again. Oh my god. Okay, uh, there looks some some problem inside the inside the container and uh, we can run another one. And that's also very easy. Just like the king, like the example show show it before, and we can uh, we can use hyperpool to pull it from the from the Docker hub. It's it's from the original hub, and uh, it will, yeah, it's very fast and. Yes, and and so we have uh, we have another IP available. Yeah, this IP have already associated with the with the prior prior previous previous container, and we can have another use another one. Associated with this one, we can use the ID prefix. And to see what happened in. Huh. Got the IP address. Yes, it's launched. And also, we can uh, dissociate it from the from the container. After dissociated, it uh, will. Uh, yes, it, the, 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 the following IP have a disattached with the, with, the, with the container. So you can, cannot access it again. And this one is the, the index that I, I launched before. So I can. I can remove it.
just a. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's it's already it's, it's it's running, so I can I cannot remove it directly. I can use the minus F to first stop it, stop it and then remove it. Yeah, it's removed. Uh, all the operation is ju just as simple as as you use a uh, Docker, but uh, this is for different different. Uh, all the, all the user, user want to use is just like you use a Docker on your laptop. Uh, you cannot feel other users also use, the, use this cloud. And it's, you can only thing is an infi infinite Docker, Docker, Docker laptop. Uh, let's back. Let's back to the presentation. Yeah. Uh, here we have uh, we use Neutron for the layer two network and use the Cinder for the data volume. Uh, you can so you can uh, every user have its own separate own isolated layer two network. Uh, other users cannot see your containers and cannot connect to your containers, and you can have a Cinder Cinder data volume that's uh, posi position. And all the uh, and our our underlying technology, such as our hyper containers, are open source project. You can you can access it with our with our uh, GitHub GitHub account. And we we are, we also have a booth in C uh, seventeen. You can visit the booth to talk with us. And that's all. Thank you. <laughs>